Hey everybody, Austin from the Planetary Gamers, and I'm here once again to show you another airplane startup video. This time it's going to be the Beechcraft King Air C90. But before we do that, just be sure if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel. And if this video helped you, go ahead and throw a like and a comment at the bottom of the page. Subscribing really helps the channel grow as well as gets uh, more awesome videos out to you guys. And you can also follow us on Twitter at PlanetaryGamer1 as well as on Facebook. Just search Planetary Gamers, all one word. And go ahead and like us there to keep updated with what all we're doing. Uh, you can check out those links as well as the other videos of the 737, 747, and Cessna startups if you haven't seen those. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to click New Flight. Make sure our King Air C90 is selected. We're going to make sure that that Start With Engines running box is not selected. We're going to stay at Orlando International. And we'll go over here for the uh, BizJet 1 parking. Uh, Alright, so we're going to do, uh, it is currently 7 at night, but we're going to do it during the day so we can see everything. Um, so we'll keep it just like that except we'll do it in the morning. So start flight. So as soon as this screen is uh, done loading up, then we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll start on it. All right, so here we are in our Beechcraft King Air C90. Uh, as you can see, the uh, engines are not running. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to get the yoke out of the way. So. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is turn on the inverter to number one. And then we'll come over here, turn on external power, as well as the avionics master power. And we'll go ahead and flip on our auto ignition for the left and right engines, as well as turn on our master battery, as well as our generators to on, because they're in the middle position. And now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on our uh, beacon, because that's how people know that we're starting up. So, uh, everything looks good over here. Um, which, yeah, just want to make sure that we get everything. I want to go ahead and boost these pumps. Not sure if they really need it, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway. So, um, click the master caution, master warning. Um, low oil pressure. That's only because uh, we haven't started the engines yet. Uh, and these will go off after I turn them off down here. And those are, yeah, those are off right now. Um, so, those indicators will also go off as well as the external power. So, uh, what we're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the we'll start with the actually yeah we'll start with the left so we'll go ahead and click on the left and we'll just kind of pan over here all right so now that it's running we need to go ahead and introduce fuel as well as our prop condition so that should be starting right up here shortly Uh, also, forgot to mention, make sure your parking brake is set, because if you're not, then you'll go rolling somewhere. <laughs> Don't know where you'll go, but you'll start moving, and uh, not good. <laughs> so, that looks like it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and turn off the left starter, or ignition. And, um, actually, we probably need to turn that off as well. Yes. So the left ignition is off and the right ignition is still on, which is good because we want to start the right engine now. We're going to go ahead and click the prop sync button just for just for fun. And uh, same thing. So we're going to go ahead and start the second engine. So we'll come over here and uh, click that in just a second. There we go. Make sure that starts spinning up. Alright, so then we'll go ahead and introduce fuel. 
to the second engine as well as our prop condition. And same thing, that will start spinning up. Alright, so that looks like it's going pretty good. Making sure everything is in the green or pretty close to the green uh, over here. So we can see our torque for the left is 180 and looks like it's uh, the right is powering up and full throttling and then coming back down like it normally does. Uh, both of those are good. The prop is good. Uh, turbine speed is about the same, 71 and 70. Uh, fuel flow is pretty much the same because they're getting both the same amount of uh, fuel as well as the oil pressure which uh, as you can see the oil pressure uh, indicators went away so we'll go ahead and turn off the uh, right ignition and the right auto ignition and that should have turned off both of those yep so that's gone and the right ignition is gone as well as turn off the external power because we're running off the engines right now and we don't need it so um, from there, we'll go ahead and flip on all of our lights, and there we go. The beacon was already on, tail lights, and yeah, let's go ahead and turn this all the way up to bright. Fasten seat belt, of course, and no smoking. Actually, we need to <laughs> turn that all the way up. So, uh, that's pretty much... Yeah, that's pretty much all you need to. Whoops, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all you need to uh, start up the uh, C90. And there's our lights here, our strobes, as well as our tail lights, our beacon, and our wing lights. So, uh, one cool thing about the C90 is that it does have a reverse thrust feature. Uh, it's <laughs> Whenever you do the reverse thrust and you're you're parked or either braking or something, it like sends the 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 aircraft into a seizure. So I'm just gonna do it just a just a little bit, just so you can see what it does with the throttle right here. And see there, it kind of reverse thrust and it's uh, toggle. So whenever you push down is when it uh, activates and whenever you let go of the uh, key bind is when it uh, deactivates. So uh, if we were going to taxi to the uh, runway, we would go ahead and set our flaps. However, we are not doing that. So, um, yep. So that's pretty much it for the King Air C90. If you guys liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel really helps us out and uh, figures it helps us uh, figure out what you want to see and what you don't. So uh, from uh, me at the Planetary Gamers, we'll see you on the next one.